Christmas is a time of increased consumption with internet shopping, a newer way of doing business. It's one potentially difficult area the Citizens Advice Bureau is warning people about this season. Manager Nairi Duke is here with the details and a look back on 2013. Good evening, Nairi. Good evening. Tell us about the Bureau's year. What have the highlights been? We've had a, an extremely busy year um, and I think one of the highlights for me is that people can now contact us on our 0800 number from their mobiles and this has opened up our service to a whole new group of people. Mm and that's showing up in our call numbers. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. you uh, responded to about 10,000 calls last year. Yes. How many so far this year? Well, we're averaging between 1,000 and 1,100 a month. So it, yeah. it is growing. Qu quite a few more. Yes. Your Awareness Week this year focused on rental housing. Was mm -hmm. that a big issue as the year progressed? Tenancy is always a big issue for us and we're finding coming up to Christmas that it's getting particularly bad again. I think um, probably because a lot of people are leaving flats at the end of the year and all sorts of issues arise from that. What other things are, are uh, issues around rental housing why, and why at this time of year? Is it that they would rather spend their money on other things than the rent? I don't think it's so much that. I think it's the legislation only covers the person whose name is on the tenancy agreement. So flatmates and, and boarders are not covered by legislation and that's where the issues arise. Okay. Were there any other issues that stood out? For this year, employment, and again coming up to Christmas we're finding quite a few people have been told that they are being dismissed from their jobs and are ringing us to find out what rights they have, mm. um, if they've got any comeback, any redress. Um, but throughout the year, um, employment is a big issue, especially coming up to a long weekend when you have um, just in, in lieu days and you know all those extra payments and things, people just get totally confused. Mm. Um, also, people who are employed casually or part time are not always aware of the rights that they have. Mm. Now the bureau is warning people about internet shopping this year. Why is yes. that? Because more and more people are using that as a means for shopping, um, and we're finding that people are being caught out. The main issues that people need to watch for is that to make sure that they're buying from a company that's in New Zealand. Um, if they buy from an overseas company, they're not covered by any of our laws, the Consumer Guarantees Act or Fair Trading Act. And also, if they buy from a person that's not in business, again, they're not covered by mm. those acts. So what are some tim simple tips for safe internet shopping, really? Just make sure you're going onto a secure site mm. and there's, there's something on your computer that will tell you that. Mm. And just to check that the company is in New Zealand mm. and that it is a business. Mm. Wise advice. Our Citizens Advice Bureau Manager Nairi Duke, thanks very much for your time and Merry okay. Christmas.